All right, good morning, great students of Better Faith Group of Schools. This is Better Faith e-learning platform. My name is Ehime Udue. Today be the first day of the month of July 2020. I want to wish my great students happy new month. This is English language for GSX2. And for today, we'll be looking at active and passive verb. Active and passive verb. But before we get started, with the active and passive verb. What is a verb? A verb is an action word. The action that carries a statement or a sentence is known as a verb. So the very first thing is, when you say something is active, say, I am active. It means I am doing a task. I am working. I am making use of my, my body. That's what it means by word, being active. So when you say an active verb, a verb is used in the active when the doer of the action is made to function as the subject. A verb is used in the active when the doer of the action is made to function as the subject. Underline this word, subject. What is a subject? A subject is most likely to be a living thing. As I am now, I am a subject. A non-living thing is what is known as what? An object. It means the writer or the speaker is more interested in the doer. I am teaching you. It means I am what? Active. You are at home sitting down listening to me. You are not active, but you are more interested in what I am doing as who? The subject. To, 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 to portray it further, a verb is used in the active when the doer of the action is made to function as the subject. It means the writer or the speaker is more interested in the doer. Let us look at some examples. Let's say example one. My teacher teaches well. My teacher teaches well. Okay? The teaches is what? The verb. Are we together? The teaches is what? The verb. This is the action of what your teacher is doing. Anybody can ask you, what is your teacher doing? Ah, my uncle, ah, he teaches very well. This particular uh, action makes your teacher, this, that is the subject, to function properly. My teacher teaches well. Example number two. Me. Example number two, you can say, I am going to the market. I am going to the market. The word going is a transitive verb. You are in motion. You are moving. Now, what were you doing at that particular time that this statement was made? You were going to the market. So the going here is the verb. Okay? Why the market? Or you? Okay? This I represents you. Your action is the going. And your complement is the subject. Oh, sorry, your market is what? The complement. But that is not what we are concerned about. We are concerned about the action. Sorry. He preached a good sermon last Sunday. He preached a good sermon last Sunday. The verb here is what? Preach. Okay? 
who did the action. He, the he here could be your pastor. Whatever thing that he did is the complement of the action. So this is a fair. Now, if your pastor is preaching, is he exercising power or is he just standing one side and talking? You begin to see him move. That is what it is meant by being active. Moving on, we look at what? The second one, which is the passive verb. As against the active verb, a verb is used in this passage, in, in the passive voice, when the receiver, that happens to be the object, of an action is made to function as a subject. Now, this time, I am using Better Faith in Learning Platform to get across to you. As I am teaching you, I am what? Active. Now, at your own convenience, you are at home, in the comforts of your room, your sitting room or your bedroom, you are listening to uncle. You are what? Passive. Are we together? You are what? Passive. And you being passive in this context makes you what? The object of the action. It's made to function as now the subject. The focus is more on the receiver of the action. Your focus is more on me. You want to grasp everything Uncle is saying. Your ability for you to say, okay, ah, uh, I didn't get Uncle, let me, let me rewind. Okay? Makes you what? The subject. As I went this e-learning uh, video we get to you, at that point, you are the object. But when you now begin to receive it, you are trying to ah, what did Uncle say here? Let me rewind. It makes you what? The subject. Okay? Now, let us look at some examples that has to do with passive verb. Some of the examples of the passive verb. Example number one. You say, my teacher. My teacher taught me very well why I was in secondary school. My teacher taught me very well why I was in secondary school. Now look at it. My teacher teaches well. It's a present continuous tense. But this one is past. Okay? My teacher taught me very well why, okay, why, sorry, this is L-E, why I was in secondary school. This thought is the passive verb. Are we together? The thought is the passive verb. The example two, let us also use this. He preached a good sermon last Sunday. Okay? He preached a good sermon last Sunday. Or, when it's okay, she was gone before I arrived. She was gone before I arrived. Okay? Which means, in the active, you are going to the market. Now, in the passive, somebody will like come to your house to ask after you. Your siblings can say, ah, she was gone before you arrived. Or you would say, she was gone before I arrived. So the gone here is what? The, the passive verb. The passive verb. Let us quickly take our practice exercise. Practice exercise. You know, in English language, the difference between speaking English and understanding English. So you need to know how to understand English. And in order for you to know how to understand English, is to practice. So in your own closet, write out five sentences. H. Sentences H in 
both passive and active voice. So thank you very much. When next we meet, we will continue from where we start. Remain ever blessed.